So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us find the mean proportional. One of the properties of the proportion that is mean proportional. If A over B equals B over C, then B times B, that is B squared, A times C, that is AC. If we get the square root on both sides, that becomes B equals the square root of AC. So let us proceed to solve this example. 3 over x is equal to x over 15. So let us see what could be the mean proportional of 3 and 15. So x times x, that is x squared. 3 times 15, that is 45. If we get the square root, that becomes x is equal to the square root of 45. 45, that is not perfect. We need to think a factor of 45. So the factor of 45 having the perfect square that is 9 times 5. So that becomes x is equal to the square root of 9 times 5. So get the square root of 9 that is exactly equal to 3 and then copy the square root of 5. So x is equal to 3 square root of 5. In example number 1, let us find the mean proportional of 2 and 8. Our formula, B equals the square root of AC. So it means we need to multiply 2 times 8. So X is equal to 2 times 8, that is the square root of 16. And what could be the square root of 16? The square root of 16, that is equal to 4. So the mean proportional of 2 and 8, that is equal to 4. How about number 2? Let us find the mean proportional of 5 and 20. So it means 5 times 20, that is square root of 100. And the square root of 100, that is equal to 10. So x equals 10. Let us find the mean proportional of example number 3, 4 and 16. So x is equal to 4 times 16, that is 64. So it means the square root of 64. And the square root of 64, that is exactly equal to 8. So x equals 8. How about number 4? 5 and 125. So it means x is equal to 5 times 125, that is 625. And the square root of 625, that is exactly equal to 25. So x equals 25. So the mean proportional of 5 and 125, that is equal to 25. How about number 5? Find the mean proportional of 16 and 32. So it means x is equal to 16 times 32. So the factor of 32 having the perfect square, that is 16. So square root of 16 times 16 times 2. So kung titignan nyo, dalawang 16, so that is perfect. So isang 16 yung ilalabas. 16 times 16, kukunin natin square root, that is 16. And then walang partner yung 2, so that is the square root of 2. So the final answer is 16 square root of 2. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.